The following is CNN's coverage of a live event. Hi, it's John Holloman. The Space Shuttle Columbia is in the final seconds of its countdown right now. Mission managers and the astronauts must be excited. In the shuttle crew cabin, the team of two women and five men who've been training for months for this day are strapped in and ready to begin their 14-day medical research flight. During the flight, they're going to be testing each other to find out why bones deteriorate, why muscles behave differently than they do on Earth, and why the heart actually moves upward in the chest cavity and beats differently, and the mass of human blood cells gets smaller during um, a time of weightlessness. During the two weeks, the crew will do weightless workouts in an effort to counteract the effects of low gravity in the human body. It's hoped that some of this work will help doctors come up with ways to help old people who don't exercise much to counteract the effects of the aging process. After a couple of delays, the countdown is continuing, and we'll listen uh, in the final half minute as NASA commentator Mitch Barnes watches the clock from the Kennedy Space Center. But after those uh, couple of delays at the end of last week, there must be a terrific level of excitement among everybody down there in Florida. We'll listen. T-minus 31 seconds. And we have auto sequence start, and Columbia is now in charge of its own launch countdown. T-minus 24 seconds. T-minus 20. All systems remain go at T-minus 15 seconds. 10. We have a main engine start. Set to minus six, five, four. We have main engine start. Three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia on a life sciences mission for Earth and space. Houston's now controlling. Houston, Columbia, roll program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Mission control sees a good roll maneuver, placing Columbia on the proper heading. Three good engines at 100%. Engines are throttling back now, easing Columbia through the dense lower altitudes, but continuing to accelerate very rapidly. Columbia is already traveling over 650 miles per hour. On 45 seconds, all systems are performing well. All three engines is 67% rated thrust. Three engines are throttling up. Tommy Houston, go at throttle up. All engines are now running at full throttle. All systems performing well. Altitude 67,000 feet. Downrange distance 8 nautical miles. Columbia is traveling over 1,000 miles per hour. Columbia continues to climb at a relatively steep angle at this point, tripling its rate of speed over the next minute. Solid rocket boosters, each delivering 3.3 million pounds of thrust, will burn out and separate at 2 minutes 3 seconds. Time now, 1 minute 48 seconds. Altitude 115,000 feet, downrange distance 18 nautical miles. SRB chamber pressure is tailing off. And Mission Control sees a good booster separation. Columbia is now flying free, powered by its own main engines. Second stage guidance is now... next uh, five minutes, the astronaut crew won't have to worry about the solid rockets because, as you see, they're no longer attached. They'll just have to worry about the main engines continuing to operate as well as they have so far. Looks like everything's going very, very well for the shuttle to, uh, to do this eight-minute uh, boost into orbit from the point where the solid rockets are ignited down on the ground below. It's, uh, we've been listening um, to the, uh, uh, the two-way radio communication between Commander John Blaha as he's talked back to the ground. Blaha is a very, he's a military fighter pilot, he's a very serious guy, but you can hear the excitement in his voice. Columbia can now cross the Atlantic Ocean with only two engines at one fail. Altitude is now 263,000 feet, downrange distance 68 nautical miles. 
as you can see, the shuttle is doing everything it's supposed to be doing. And it's beginning to level out a bit, shedding more and more weight as propellant burns off and continuing its rapid acceleration. The shuttle continues to make this eight-minute journey to orbit. We'll, um, we'll go back and we'll look again at the final few seconds of the countdown as Columbia lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems remain go at T-minus 15 seconds. 10, yellow go for main engine start. Yeah, T-minus 6, 5, 4, we have main engine start. 3, 2, 1, booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia on a life sciences mission for Earth and space. Houston is now controlling. Serious, let me come to a roll program. Roger roll, Columbia. Mission Control sees a good roll maneuver, placing Columbia on the proper heading. Three good engines at 100%. Engines are throttling yeah, back now. Jeff Carr is uh, watching as the shuttle continues to make its way toward orbit, about 160 miles above the Earth. And um, this is going to be one of the most remarkable shuttle missions ever, according to NASA managers. They say that it will last for 14 days, and during that time, the astronauts will conduct medical experiments that might help people here on Earth. Baywatch will be coming up next here on CNN. We urge you to stay with us. This has been a CNN Live event.